Hello there, in this tutorial I'm going to discuss about creation of a OWA Outlook Web App configuration. So through two types we can configure it. One is the virtual way, virtual directory and another is OWA Maybox policy. So let's discuss about that. When you go with the organization configuration, uh, you get the option called client access. In client access, you get the option called Outlook Web App Mailbox Policy. Another is Exchange Active Sync Mailbox Policies. So by default, one is already created the Outlook Web App Mailbox Policy. When you right click go to the properties, you get the four options like journal you have the for example the by default one is created so according to that you can edit you can create new policy as well you can check it out about the segmentations which are the items are selected you can you can select those and according to that uh, you can enable disable as per your requirement you can go with the private computer file access as well according to the direct file access when you go with the customization currently enable directly files access is available even the web ready document viewing is also being checked out you can you can check it out by the support also with the public computer file access so with that you can customize according to it uh, as of now it's enabled uh, and even with web writing so both a public computer file access and private computer file access is configured according to it segmentation you can check it out so this is the one way another way is when you go expand server configuration client access and in client access you got the option called outlook web app when you click on it and when you right click on the properties you will get the extra options and here the options are like for example you go with the journal and in general you have the option of internal URL when you click on the OWA when you browse the OWA this is the link we use uh, to browse OWA so this is what the in internal networks we used to do in external as well you can you can do the uh, OWA but remember one thing that uh, uh, you need a SSL certificate on it a secure certificate and secondly second thing is that whatever URL you taken out whatever URL you have uh, to browse OWA in external network should be resolved in DNS it means it needs it it needs to be accessible through internet so external URL will be like that because through internet we can uh, we can browse the OWA secondly the authentication is the another option available and here what you can find out is uh, use of the standard authentication methods form based authentication domain username principal name usually name only so username only that's uh, the what the option is use your principal name as well so you can check it out the uh, logon format here you can go through the logon domain uh, here segmentation option is also available you can according to that check in those options and according to that enable disable it uh, regarding public uh, computer file access that option is we have already discussed with that option is also available in the previous uh, uh, wizard it's in private computer file access as well uh, regarding the remote file servers this is the new thing and this is something which we have uh, discussed during the active sync so in the block list you will find out the specified names of remote file servers which we want to block you can add from here and it will be over through the allow list also the allow list 
where you can add the specified names of the servers which you want to allow when you click on it you can specifically allow those and unknown servers which you can block or you can allow according to it you can even configure the domain suffix and should be treated as internal it requires for so uh, that is another one thing which you can add it so in last option we got when you, when you check it out through OWA mailbox policies you have four options and here when you check it out the virtual directory you got six options four are same and another is the journal which is another uh, extra value added thing so this particular work through virtual directory you get extra options to configure so this is what the uh, OWA configuration is all about and according to that as per the company's policy requirement you can uh, add it out the configurations as